The Basic Elements of Music, Lesson 1, The Music Staff, presented by Saratin Music Publishing. My name is Stephen Hill, and I hope you will take, a, take some time to check out my website and listen to some of the music posted there. This is a series of lessons I put together for my students to uh, equip them to be successful musicians. The first lesson is the music staff. There are PDF worksheets to help reinforce the lesson, and I will go over them at the end of each lesson. The music staff, that's where the composer places all of the information that lets the performer know which notes to play on their instrument and how to play them, whether fast or slow or loud or soft. We're going to use a piano keyboard as our visual aid because we can see lots of notes all at one time. It doesn't matter what instrument you play, you're going to have high sounds, mid-range sounds, low sounds, and we're going to use a piano keyboard to help represent that. So on the left side of the keyboard, we're going to have low sounds. In the middle of the keyboard, we're going to have mid-range sounds. On the right side, we're going to have high sounds. If we take the piano keyboard and set it on its side, we're going to see that the low sounds are at the bottom, the mid-range sounds are there in the middle, and the high sounds are at the top. In order for the musician to know which of these keys to push down, we have to place symbols for them. And so we're going to use lines and spaces. And on these lines and spaces, we're going to place the musical symbols. You can see that there are lots of keys on the keyboard, so we're going to need lots of lines and spaces for all of these notes. If we needed low sounds, we would use the lower part of the staff. If we needed mid-range sounds, like viola, saxophone, French horn, we would use the middle of the staff. And if we needed really high sounds, flute, violin, piccolo, bells, we would use the higher part of the staff. But if we used all of the lines at one time, it would be just too confusing for the musicians. So we're going to take these lines, reduce them down to just five visible lines at a time. And if we needed higher sounds, we would use five lines higher up on that set of five lines, uh, set of lines and spaces. If we needed to go beyond the five lines, we would now bring out those invisible lines and use part of them, and we call those ledger lines. If we needed lower sounds, we would use five lines down lower on that very large set of lines and spaces. And if we needed to go beyond those five lines, we would use parts of the invisible ones, again called ledger lines. So our lesson today is getting acquainted with the music staff. There are five lines. We number them from the bottom up. One, two, three, four, five. And we also make use of the spaces. So we have space one, two, three, four. So if we put a music symbol there, we would say that is on line one. This symbol is in a space. So we would say that's in space one, two. This note is on a line one, two, three, four, line four. And this note is in a space, and that's on space one, two, three. So we always count from the bottom up. For the worksheet, you're just going to fill in the line number or the space number. Uh, so for number one, that first box is sitting on line one. Number two, that box is sitting on s line one. And the next one is sitting on line one, two, three, four. Number three, that box is sitting on space one. And number four, that box is sitting on space one and space one, two, three. Now on the second side, you're going to learn to draw your five line staff freehand. We're going to start off with some lines for you to trace in number five. Number six, you just have a starting and ending point and draw as straight a line as you can. Number seven, you're going to draw your five lines freehand with no guides. Just draw as straight as you can and number them from the bottom up. So the first line would be one, 
the top line would be 5 and the spaces. You're going to number those 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's your lesson on the music staff. We will continue uh, with lines and spaces in the next lesson. And again, I hope you will take some time to check out my website.